Since 2006, the Parental Alienation Awareness Organization has marked April 25th as Parental Alienation Awareness Day. The event was founded by Sarvi Emo in Toronto and didn't receive much attention initially. But PAAO director Roger Van Maris says it didn't take long for the event to pick up steam. Uh, the next year and beyond, uh, nobody could have foreseen how viral this, this would have gone. I guess there was nobody paying any attention to uh, the issue. And uh, within a year or two, hundreds of countries and states and cities and communities across the world were just you know, jumping on the bandwagon and trying to get this, this message out to uh, as many people as they could. Van Maris said communities across the globe are now proclaiming April 25th to be PAA Day. In 2010, the event was rebranded as Bubbles of Love Day to give the day a gentler message. At noon on April 25th, thousands of people will blow soap bubbles into the air with the goal of raising awareness of children who are alienated from one of their parents. The primary goal is to raise awareness that every child deserves to be loved by both parents. Uh, that is it in a nutshell. Uh, you know, you can, you know, the focus has to be on children. Yes, it's horrible that, that parents are prevented from seeing their children. I, I was in one of those situations where I didn't see my children for two years, uh, and my heart goes out to them, but the focus needs to be on the children. There are people on both sides of the, of the debate that can justify why a parent doesn't deserve to see the child. Uh, but I've never come across a single person that can justify why a child doesn't deserve to know and love both parents. To read more about Bubbles of Love Day, visit bubblesofloveday.com or paawarenessday.com. To learn more about the Parental Alienation Awareness Organization, visit paawareness.org. You can also find numerous articles on parental alienation on dadsdivorce.com. That'll do it for another episode of Dad's Divorce Live. I'm Sean Garrison, editor of dadsdivorce.com. We'll see you next time.